This is one of the videos that I look forward to filming every single year. It is Majuri's Black Friday sale. I've had so many videos in the last few years of the Majuri Black Friday sale. So make sure you go and check these out. They're all here for other recommendations if you guys are looking for it. It is honestly such a great time of year because it is their biggest sale and usually their only sale of the year. So make sure you do not miss out. And also this year's sale is even juicier because you actually get 25% off with a minimum spend of $150. That to me, oh my God, is insane because usually they offer 20% off. So if you spend less than 150, you still get your 20% off. But nevertheless, you know, it's not hard. You might as well hit the 150 mark and get your 25% off. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I want to tell you guys about the details of the sale first. So early access started on November 22nd. You're not watching this before November 22nd, obviously, but the public sale starts on November 24th. But the early access sale is actually for people who are members. So this just goes to show you that you need to register as a member. So I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to see and register. And everything that I'm about to mention in the video is going to be linked down below. So make sure you click on the links there. And without any further ado, I can't wait to show you my personal Majuri Black Friday haul. And as you guys can see, I purposely am wearing no jewelry because I'm going to put, I think, everything on that I got. But also I'm going to try to make some new recommendations, even though I feel like some of my recommendations are going to be overlapping. But like I said, make sure you watch some of my old videos as well, because likely they will still have the item. But I just wanted to put that out there because some of the stuff that I keep repeating, like if you haven't already gotten it, you know what I'm saying? Like, why haven't you gotten it? It's obviously a favorite if I'm recommending it year after year. But anyway, without further ado, like I said, let's get right into the haul. This is the haul that we have and what we're starting with. So I'm going to start with this bag right here, just because it seems like there's only one item. And I kind of know kind of think I know what it is. Another diamond tennis bracelet. Honestly, their diamond tennis bracelets are probably some of my favorite in the world. And I am obsessed. My last one, I unfortunately, I don't even want to talk about it, lost it after wearing it almost every day for three years. I honestly, like, I don't think I've mourned something more than that damn tennis bracelet. This is their natural diamond tennis bracelet, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is honestly just the replacement of the one that I got. So it's not really new, but it just, it looks new to me and it's shinier to me because like I said, my first diamond tennis bracelet, I wore it every single day for like three years. And it was to the point that sometimes when I took it off, you could like see things getting stuck in there because I never took it off. It is solid gold. So you can wear it 24 seven, even in the shower. And I took advantage of that. And trust me, I honestly think it's just because it never falls off. It is so sturdy. If you look at the class this is what the clasp looks like. So there's actually double security. You put this on like this and then it just never comes off. And this is what the diamond tennis bracelet looks like on. It is so dainty, so classy. I just am so obsessed with this. You guys, I just had, I had, I had to get it. I had to get it. The next box right here, these two items, let me tell you right now, it is one of those two items where I saw it and I knew I immediately needed to get my hands on it. If you guys can't see what it is, it is two stacker rings. One has diamond, one does not. You can buy them both individually or separately, but I absolutely love the look of this. It is so classy and pretty. The rings are actually very, very, very dainty and classy. As you guys can see, this is how it looks like. I have some thicker rings that I usually wear from a jury, which I will show you, but actually the two of them combined, it actually looks like the size of their typical one piece jewelry. So I just want to give you a gauge on how dainty it is, but I absolutely love it. I also love how it looks together and I'm so excited to show you how I'm going to stack my rings. One of the reasons why I love Majuri diamonds and also Majuri solid gold is because it is so designed for the everyday girl. Like if you are someone who is like me, you know, you just like to go out and live your life. Like you're not trying to think too much about like, oh, like if you want to play spike ball or bickle ball or like whatever recreational sport you guys are playing or like like hanging out with your friends or like washing dishes or you're just like living your day-to-day -day life and I just usually like to buy their solid gold items because I know I don't have to worry too much about it and also as a Majuri lover as you can see from my entire playlist of Majuri products and videos I can attest to the fact that all their products I've worn day after day I shower I sleep in it I know you shouldn't do that all the time with all of the products but you can with solid gold and they always stand the test of time the next two items that I got 
that are also solid gold diamond pieces. So this is the two items. I got a pendant in the number three, and this is in diamonds. And this is the evil eye also in diamond pendant. If you guys have seen my videos before, you guys will know how much I love the evil eye. I don't know. I just, I believe it. And I feel like this entire quarter, like the last three months when I haven't worn it, shit has been going down in my life. And I don't care if you believe it or not, but in my mind, I'm like, if I wear this and it saved me from God knows what was going to happen, I'll wear it. Like, what's the harm? You know what I mean? And Majuri does have a lot of designs, which I own most of them, to be honest with you. But this was actually got to be by far one of my favorite ones, like a diamond evil eye. Are you kidding me? That's so dainty and cute. If you're a boyfriend watching this, like just get this for your girlfriend and be like, see, I'm taking care of you. This is for your protection. I feel like if a guy bought that for me and sent that to me, I actually would be in love. Anyway, I also got the three because if you guys know, I'm very spiritual. I love all my angel numbers, etc. My life path is also life path number three. So I just really wanted to get it. I'm also born on the third. So I wanted to just kind of put it with some of the things that I have. So this is what the evil eye necklace looks like. I also like it because it won't move around. As you can see, it is tied by both sides. So you won't ever have to see the end of your necklace, which is obviously a plus. It's extremely dainty. I love it as a layering piece. Like I could just see myself putting another kind of like choker right here, which I will. I'm going to show you my favorite choker. If you don't know already, I feel like a lot of you are going to know exactly what choker I'm going to put on, but I'm going to put that one on and then maybe even a longer necklace down here, but I just think it is such a cute layering piece and it's so adorable. I think you need to get this for someone as a gift, honestly, if it's not for yourself. The next set of items that I got are actually these statement earrings. So these statement earrings are really cool because you can actually layer them. So the first piece is this one right here. And this one obviously just like goes into your ear and then you get to pair it obviously optional, but you can pair it with an item like this. And they also have a bunch of different colors. I was very drawn towards this burgundy brownish color. So what you basically do is you just put it through like so. This is what it looks like. It is so nice. I'm so obsessed with this. Like, look at this. It is the perfect burgundy color for the season. I know everyone is obsessed with this color right now and you can now get these in the earrings. So the last ring that I got may look familiar because it is familiar. I actually have the exact same ring in solid gold. This one is actually in white gold. I just love silver colored items for the holidays, especially. So white gold is perfect if you want something that looks silver, but obviously a little bit more low maintenance where you can still Still wear it in the shower, washing your hands, etc. Like, you know the drill. That is just the type of jewelry that I personally like to trend towards. And I just saw someone, I think on a picture or something, layering the two of these. And just look at that. It just looks so amazing. I have been really loving mixing metals. It's actually been something that I've been loving for quite a long time. I actually did a video on it a while ago. So if you guys are ever curious about how to strategically mix your metals, I also made a video on that that you can check out. But this is just such a cute little combo and I just love that I don't have to focus on taking it off all, all the time. I can even wear it to my hot yoga class, etc. So this is exactly why I tend to like to stick to solid gold, white gold, etc. In the meantime, I'm going to share with you some of my other favorite items that you cannot miss for the Black Friday sale. This is the choker that I absolutely love. I actually do like to put some charms on this sometimes. So for the sake of this video, I will show you what it looks like like with charms, but this is what it looks like without charms. I just personally love the length in which it lands on my neck. There are two different lengths. The one that I have is the shorter one because personally, I like this a little bit, just like closer and giving me a choker vibe. But obviously there's also the longer one. This is the chain that I have basically told everyone that looks like a melted gold. So this is what both of them look like with both the serpentine chain as well as the number three. I just think it looks so gorgeous. Another thing that I absolutely love doing, I actually got this inspo from shopping inside the Majuri store. So if you're ever coming across the Majuri store, I highly recommend going inside and seeing how they stack their stuff because honestly, this is where I got the inspo. For a while, I was also wearing my necklace with the diamond charms and it has my initials LW. And I just think it's a really, really fun way to kind of like layer your charms. And it's also a really good money saver because you can just buy charms instead of having to buy 
buy a chain every single time, especially if the necklace doesn't look like this, you can buy it separate and then you can layer the charms together and it looks really, really nice. So I could even see me putting, you know, the diamond letters L and W with my number three and it's kind of like my birth life path number with my initials. I just think everything like that is just so cute and it also makes for such a great gift idea. So if you're watching this video and if you're also an early bird, I highly recommend getting started on shopping for your gifts because the 25% off is amazing. And honestly, the diamond letter pendant is probably one of my favorite items in the world from Majuri. And I just love wearing this as an everyday necklace. I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite rings from Madrid now. Probably one of my favorites is this one here. This one was quite a new addition a few years ago, and I absolutely love it. It's such a comfortable ring, and it's just a really, really nice diamond piece that goes all the way around. It's so dainty. It's super easy to layer. One of the reasons why it's so easy to layer is because it's very, very symmetrical. It's not kind of like this because I feel like if you want to put something on top of it, there's already some sort of curvature. So this one's just much easier to layer. So I'm going to show you with some of my other favorite rings that I like to layer. This is also another ring. I'm going to leave all the names on the side. This is also one that I absolutely love. It's extremely dainty and you can wear it with a lot of a lot of different items. And I just think it looks so cute together like that. Another ring that I know you guys know I love is the baguette ring. This is also full diamond all around, but this one can come in also the halfway diamond. So it's not all around if you guys want to just have this as the top. That's another option as well, but I just think this looks so pretty. It's another one of those pieces, like I said, that is super easy to layer. And I always cannot forget this one. This is probably one of their most OG pieces. This is their Pave diamond ring, and I always get so many compliments on this ring. So I feel like if you haven't already gotten it, this is your yearly reminder to get this ring. And then finally onto the burgundy train, I honestly still really love this ring right here. I forgot what it's called, but it also comes in multiple different colors and I got it in the ruby and I feel like I always bring it up year after year and wear it during the fall season. When it comes to earrings, there are two earrings that I think are beyond worth it. And I feel like once again, if you watch my videos, you know what I'm going to say. But the first one is these earrings right here. These ones are the thinner hoop earrings. and. These ones also have diamonds, but you can also choose the ones without diamonds. These ones are so, so, so good. Also because they go all the way around, you can also buy some hoop charms to go on it and kind of have a design for yourself and kind of layer it with all these different hoop charms together. I just absolutely love doing that. This is what it looks like. This is a thin one with diamond, of course. Like I said, you don't have to get the one with diamond. They also come in three different sizes and I just absolutely love them. I feel like if you're going to be choosing any type of earrings from a jury, it has to be from that family or from the same family, but it's on the bolder side. So I'm going to put this on and show you the difference. So as you guys can see, this is the bolder one and this is the thin one. I feel like I'm trying to pick more timeless pieces, especially when it comes to solid gold in the solid gold part of your collection. I personally recommend these two types of earrings, the thin one versus the bold one. And then out of these two, there's diamond versus no diamond. And then out of that, there's the different sizes, small, medium, and large. So there's a lot to choose from, but just choose from these two families and everything will be amazing. This goes with every outfit and it just, oh, it's just so good. I will say that the bold one isn't compatible with hoop charms. So I just want to kind of put that out there. So if you are someone who is looking for more charmy, trendy pieces that you want to kind of like mix and match, then I would definitely go with the thin one. The other items that I honestly think you shouldn't miss, especially with the 25% off are the classic diamond pieces. These diamond earrings, like I have loved these so much that I actually got it for my mom as well. She absolutely loves them and they are just so adorable and classy. It goes with the same old money vibes. It's very classic. I just feel like now is your chance to buy your must haves, your wish list, etc. I have so many videos on what you can get from a jury. Make sure you don't miss out. If you want to see my whole collection, you can also see my website, lisaway.com slash majuri, and you can find all the links down below. But anyway, that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.